hey what's going on everyone welcome back to the channel my name is daniel and in this video i'm going to be showing you how you can make at least hundred dollar daily trading cryptocurrency on binance and apparently this method works perfectly and it's basically for the beginners you know when you're just starting now in the crypto space you kind of get confused on you know how to read the charts and every other thing so this method i've put together every single thing i've combined a lot of basically technical factors and other things you need to put together to make at least hundred dollar daily trading on binance so one thing i love about this method is that it works perfectly no matter the market condition so either the market is bullish or bearish this method works perfectly okay so without further ado let's dive in and if you're new to the channel you're welcome my name is daniel and on this channel what i do is that i teach you how to make money trading cryptocurrency every single day on binance and any other exchanges out there so if that sounds like what you like i'll invite you to subscribe to the channel and turn on the notification bell icon so when i upload a new video like this you'll be the first to watch and make money with it we are going to be doing scalping okay this method is called scalping method you are making money no matter how the market goes even the market goes down like five percent you're going to be making money even the market goes up like five percent you're going to be making money also so you are basically filling up the market no matter the direction of the market so that's why i've put together a lot of technical factors i've added up together to create this profitable strategy we are going to use to perform this kind of trading on binance okay so stick around and grab a cup of coffee or a popcorn let's dive in to this strategy and keep in mind this is not a financial advice this is based on my own opinion and it's for educational purposes only i've been doing this for over three years now and i've been seeing good results with it so i thought i should share it out with people so you get to learn more about it too and also implement it in your own trading strategy okay all right so without further ado let's dive in the first thing you need to do is to pick a cryptocurrency price that suits your own need for me i go for the bnb the binance coin for me i'm going to be using the binance coin for this kind of strategy okay so we are going to step down to the 15 minutes chart right here we are going to step down to the 15 minutes chart this method works perfectly in a smaller time frame okay don't go beyond the 15 minutes time frame okay you, you have to trade in between the one minute and three minute and the five minute and the 15 minutes as well okay since it's a scalping strategy so you are making money in the short term and you are repeating the process over and over again provided all the rules are met okay if all the rules are met you get into the trade if all the rules are not met you have to wait you don't rush into any trade without the rules being met okay okay so right now i'm going to show you this method obviously i've plotted out the 20 ema to keep things so easy because i don't want this video to be kind of too long i want to keep things so easy and simple so you guys cannot get overwhelmed okay so apparently a plot of the 20 ema and the 50 ema you can get that in the in this section you can get that apparently in this section in the indicator section you, get, you click on the plus button and go to indicators and search for ema exponential moving average so in you get to plot out two exponential moving averages which is basically the 20 ema and the 50 ema okay that's what we are going to use for this kind of strategy okay this strategy is pretty simple so like i said earlier i'm going to making money no matter the direction of the market so we are not going to be considering any key level we are not going to be looking at any kind of structure level we are going to basically following the market no matter the direction it goes with all the rules made i'm not a kind of trader that will tell you buy whenever the blue line crosses down to the yellow line and, and you buy whenever the blue line crosses above the yellow line no that's not what i meant okay that's typically what you understand by the ema but what i've done is that i've added some technical factors to that ema so that's what basically what this strategy is all about the strategy is pretty simple i'm going to be fast about it because i don't want the video to be too long whenever the the, the blue line crosses down to the yellow line it signify a what a selling pressure that is the short position that's um rules number one so that rules is made right here when you are seeing the crossing bar okay our rules number one are met okay the rules number two i want to see price trading below the 20 ema okay rule number two we have seen price trading below the 20 ema two so that rules is met and rule number three we want to see price pulling back to the 20 ema 
or either the 50 EMA price pulling back to touch either the 20 EMA or the 50 EMA okay so that rose is met so when the price pull back to either the 20 or the 50 EMA you put something like an horizontal line on the pullback weeks okay on the pullback weeks just put an horizontal line right there when you put an horizontal line right there what we are looking for now we are looking for a break of that line okay we are looking for typically a break of that line but before you see a break of that line be monitoring the price pulling back if the price pullbacks and closes above the 50 ema without touching even the bodies of that ema that 50 yellow line the rules is invalidate like the rules is not made so you have to you know cancel that trade and wait for another clean entry reason but if we see a candle like that like for instance a candle like that and still touches the yellow line that rules is still made because that yellow line is still active okay it's still active enough to continue the trend downward okay after that we can see actually we saw a break of that candle here we saw the break of that candle right there if you look closely there was a break of that candle with this doji candle this long week to the upside let me zoom in clearly i'm going to go over to the bullish version okay real quick this this candle here was the one that closes above the line so we can actually enter the market from there and you bring out your long position tools pretty quick i'm going to bring out a long okay it's a short rider so you get to keep it on the entry candle okay this is how the candle closes and you know and went up from okay the candle open from here watch the mouse closely the candle open from here and went as high as this okay as well as high as this and then came as low as this and then closes back here okay so that will be our entry candle you can see obviously so that's how it works so our stop loss is normally i normally go around one is to four one is to five ratio so but i'll be showing you how to put a very decent stop loss when we go further in the video using the atr indicator the atr will show you the average true range how volatile that candle is so, that, so you don't get stopped out before your target is it okay so that's what the atr does so you get to know how volatile that market is currently so you, you know how to place your stop loss rightful like appropriately so you not end up doing the wrong thing so i normally go around one is to five one is to four i normally go around one is to four one is to five so as you can see with this big candle our target would have been hit already and you would have made your profit there and go away if you are using futures trading to you know play out this strategy and it works perfectly provided all the rules are perfectly met i'm going to go over to another example so you you get to know more about this strategy perfectly so i'm going to exit this one right there and we know how it works perfectly so i'm going to be going over to another example right there but if you look closely in this chart if you look closely in this chart what do we see here let me see if you can spot it we see price we see the yellow line the blue line crosses down to the yellow line which signify what a selling pressure okay and we now see price trading below the blue line which is rules number two met perfectly and we now see price pulling back to either the 20 ema or the 50 ema without closes above the 50 ema which our rules are made number three Okay, what we will be doing now is to, is to put an horizontal line on the wicks of that pullback candle, okay? On that pullback candle, okay? So you put an horizontal line on the wicks of that pullback candle and you wait for a break of that candle. So once you see a break of that candle, like the one you saw right here, we saw a break of that candle with this big candle here. And you, you bring out your short position so this is how it works uh i told you how the candle opened from the candle opened from here watch the mouse closely okay the, the candle opens from here and went as high as this and came as low as this wicks not the bodies look closely as low as this wicks and now closes from here so this is our entry candle this is how the entry will look like okay let me put it to the exact point okay the short position you you tap on it and you put your stop losses i'm going to show you how to appropriately put your stop losses but for this video i'm going to randomly put the stop losses anyway so we can get to know how the targets will play out okay 
I normally go around for this trade. I normally go around one is to four, one is to five. Okay, but the standard one I normally use to avoid any left out of the market because I'm doing scalping. I don't basically want to hold my position for long since I'm scalping the market. I normally go around one is to five, one is to four. Okay, this this target would have been hit already. Okay, this strategy works perfectly. Just go out there and test out this strategy in your own press um, crypto um, currency pairs to know if it actually works out. You can look through the charts and know how these rules were perfectly made before trading it on different currency pairs. Because for the BNB, I've been using this strategy for over a while now and it has been working perfectly. So just exit the position there and we can see that this even this particular trade had to play out even more okay it's all up to you if the rules are perfectly made okay so let's go over to the bullish first okay but let me show you another 140 you need to take note of we can see that the blue line is trading below the yellow line perfectly our rules one is made and the, and the price is trading below the blue line which is the rules number two and the rules are perfectly met okay number three we can see price pulling back to either the 20 ema or the 15 ema rules are met number three so what we need to do is to put an horizontal line on the wicks of that pullback candle but we, we can now see that price is now trading above the 50 EMA and it's even not touching the 50 EMA. So that invalidates the rules. So you can see if all these rules are made perfectly, that's when you get into the trade. But if it's not made, you need to you know still look at the charts more often so you can know when the rules is, is perfectly made. Let me quickly go over to the bullish first and see if it's actually work out. Okay, right now, let me see, you can see the current market now so let me let me test out these rules in the current market first we can see that the blue line is trading above the yellow line perfectly okay perfectly rules number one is met and number two we can see price trading above above the blue line perfectly the rules number two is met perfectly okay and number three we can see price pulling back to the 20 ema or the 50 any side it can pull back to the 20 or the 50 it doesn't mean but we don't want to see price closing up below the you know the yellow line without touching the bodies of that um, ema okay so that's perfectly how the rules would would have played out okay but yeah we just have to put an horizontal line on the waist and we are waiting so what we are currently waiting now for this kind of trade is for us to see a candle you know closes above the wicks of that of that pullback wicks okay? okay so that's it so this is what we are waiting for we are waiting for a break of that line if we actually see a break of that line that's a clear confirmation that we are going to hit even higher on this bnb current price actions okay so that's what is going to happen with this bnb but if at all before we could break this line we have already traded below this yellow ema without touching the bodies of that ema that would have invalidated the rules okay so you need to keep that in mind and look closely to the chart okay for the stop losses and the you know to know how volatile the candle is your entry candle and if you have any question and if you are still watching the video up to now please subscribe and hit the notification bell icon and drop the like on this video so this video can be shown to more people this is pretty simple make sure all the rules are perfectly made let me go over to this other entry that we had here let me show you how to place your stop losses and your take profit okay and we had price trading coming into the 50 ma you already knew this so we have to put an horizontal line on the weeks so we are waiting for a break of that of that line okay perfectly so we now saw the break of that line which is this candle right there let me zoom in so you see it clearly so what we do now is to bring out what our major main tools okay so we can okay you bring out something called atr indicator you can find that in the indicator section here we go to let me click on the indicators okay and then click on indicators right there you search for ATR, which is the average true range. Okay, that's it. The first result right there. Click on it. Perfectly. 
you exit it and it will be reflected on the chart immediately okay so what we'll be watching out for now is what will you bring out the measurement tools which is this one you have seen it so we now measure from the entry candle we tap there we move it up to the highest eye it came before it went down okay the one that is nearest okay the nearest one don't go too far that's the nearest one there it was around i mean 4.1 pips okay let me put it out it was around 4.5 pips you can see uh, 4.5 4.6 okay let me put this this is the pips this one right here let me i hope you you are saying it okay all right so 4.6 pips we now bring out something called we now bring out something called vertical line because we are doing back testing now back testing that's what we are basically doing now vertical line okay vertical line to the bodies of that of that candle your entry candle so you can know how volatile is it on the atr okay since you are doing back testing as you can see from the intersection points here the intersection points you can see from there we had around 1.4 atr 1.4 atr that was the atr of that particular trade at that point okay and the entry candle from the to the isi it went before it came down was around 4.5 you remember so let's put on the calculator real quick and we type in 4.5 4.5 which is the the average true range of that candle to the isi it went plus 1.4 at the atr indicator then so we are going to put a 5.9 stop loss pips okay so that was how to put the the stop loss you can if you don't understand what i mean you can actually rewind the video and watch it perfectly okay so you can you can get to understand how it works so you, you now bring out your short position one more time this is also applicable on the long position okay i'm going to go over to the long position so you guys don't get confused okay so this is how the trade would have played out there the atr is 5.9 okay 5.9 so you are going to put the 5.9 pips okay so you are going to go over to 5.9 obviously that's the that's the point there 5.9 you can see it obviously on the on the section 5.9 okay so that's how the trade would have played out one is to four one is to five probably if you want to go more aggressive you can go for one is to seven provided all the rules are perfectly met okay so that's how to put the stop loss and the take profit pretty quick and it's as simple as that so you can know how volatile the candle is so you don't end up stopping out of the market as you can see this trade this trade actually play out perfectly with the rules okay let me go over to the bullish first one more time the one that the rules are perfectly made okay let's go over to that because that's very important to know when this trade is going to happen so what do we see here look closely look closely because all this route all these rules really matter a lot okay we can see price we can see the blue line trading above the yellow line which signify what buying pressure our rules number one is met okay we now see price trading above the blue line which is the 20 ema trading above it which is rules number two is met obviously that's it and what do we see we now see price pulling back to either touching the 20 ema or the 50 ema rules number three is perfectly what met so what we, what we will be doing is actually putting horizontal line on the highest eye to it before it pull back okay okay that's the point so what we'll be waiting now for is what a break of that line without if i thought it does not close below it without even touching the wicks but if it does something like this it touches the bodies of that ema that 50 ema below it's perfectly met but if we don't see any bodies any wicks touching the ema that invalidates the rules but if it touches that actually signify that the ema is still acting like support for the market to still push upward this strategy is pretty simple okay even even a child even even, even a child of 10 years can understand the strategy and you know, make sure it tests it out perfectly and see if it works out in your own cryptocurrency price okay all right so 
with that said we are going to show you how it works now we are going to bring out what this is how to put stop losses on let, let, let me see put the same application there with the one we did initially these are the market where the markets open from here and came as low as this and went as high as this and what and closes here okay so we are going to measure from there from the close candle our entry candle to the lows to so the immediate lows that is behind you okay that's what 4.2 pips okay 4.2 pips and when we look at the atl then you look at the atl it was around 1.3 pips look very closely the intersection point if you want you really want to find the exact point you can zoom into the indicator and look closely after you might have put a vertical line don't forget to put a vertical line on the candles your entry candle so you can know how volatile the the candle was if you are doing back testing because this one is actually doing back, back testing but if you are currently on the market it's going to show you the current atr value okay so right now we can see that the the atr was around 1.2 1.15 so let's just pick 1.2 probably real quick to so 1.2 plus 4.2 what is that that's around 5.4 so we're going to put a 5.4 stop loss pips so just bring out your long position from the entry candle this was our entry candle let me zoom in so you guys see it clearly okay this was the entry candle real quick that is the entry candle we want to keep what 4.2 plus 1.5 that's 5.4 we're going to put a 5.4 pips down 5.4 pips down 5.1234 pips okay so that's 5.4 and i normally go i told you i normally go around one is to five one is to six one is to four okay depending on your how aggressive you are okay so you can see this around 1.4 let me go around 1.5 1.8 the, the strategy would have you know the target would have been hit depending on how aggressive you weigh okay so that's it so if you enjoy this kind of content and you want to see more of this smash that like button for me subscribe if you haven't already and i'll see you in the inside don't forget to join the telegram group i will normally give out daily signals so you get to be the part of the family and you're making money consistently every single day with the group okay all right so in the meantime i'll see you in the next one bye for now